Well, this weekend there's this little fist fight going down in some Nevada backwater called Las Vegas between two dudes called uh, Mayweather and McGregor. Now, whether you like it or not, it's the most talked about boxing match since Ali versus Frazier 3. Though I very much doubt it'll be in the same universe as that fight, in my opinion, the greatest boxing match of all time. Here to talk about the fight this weekend is ENCA.com sports editor, Travis Richards. Travis, what are you expecting to happen on Saturday night? Well, first of all, Simon, thank you for having me. And um, I think Mayweather is going to slaughter McGregor, to be, to be quite honest. That's going to happen. McGregor doesn't have a chance. Um, Mayweather is a 49-0 and 0 undefeated champion of every division, or, or every division he's 14. So McGregor doesn't stand any chance, in my opinion. No chance whatsoever? No chance. Even with the all. smaller gloves? You don't think that's... Even with uh, the, the, the whole 8-ounce, 10-ounce glove thing, Mayweather's been fighting for a very long time, and mm. I doubt that he's ever, ever had a problem with the gloves. I mean, no one's been able to beat him in 20 years, so we can't bring gloves into this factor as a, as a major talking point. It, it, it's a no-go. But he's had a fair amount of hand injuries, isn't he? He hasn't got the strongest carpal bones, has he? No, uh, not at... smaller gloves can make a difference, <laughs> particularly if you're... Uh, you know, if, if, if some people expect McGregor to come out aggressive and to swarm him and uh, Mayweather's going to put up quite a big guard mm. with those smaller gloves, he can't, he can't expect too much defense on that, can he? No, 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 not at all. And also the age thing, McGregor is, is 29 and Mayweather's 40. I don't fear him. I don't fear this limited set of, of, of fighting. This is a, this is a limit, limited set of, of rules. And over that time, your hands do buckle, I guess, but... It's, 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 it's not going to be a major thing. I don't feel that, at least. So why do you think Mayweather agreed to the smaller gloves? Why, what do, you think, do you think he I was calling McGregor's bluff? Or do you think, do you don't expect in any way, shape or form that it gives McGregor, who is a fantastic striker, sure, sure, he's not sure, a boxer, sure. but he's a striker. Do you not think it gives him just a hint of an advantage? Why did Mayweather agree to it? I think it's because McGregor's stepping into a boxing ring and it's, it's, it's not the octagon. And I think Mayweather had to give him some sort of a, of a cushion. Yeah. So l I'll, I'll let you wear your, your smaller gloves. We can, we can fight as, as, th as far as it goes, as far as your, your gloves are concerned. Mm. I mean, we're not in the octagon. It's in a boxing ring. We'll give you smaller gloves. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it really doesn't make any it difference. It doesn't make a difference at all. It could be bare knuckle. You're still, still going to yeah, win. Yeah. So you're given no chance whatsoever. Are you, do you align yourself with a lot of what we, saw, what we call boxing purists who are so dismissive that... Uh, you know, they're actually, actually very, um, they seem to be quite angry about this fight, aren't they? There's a lot, I, of, a lot of bad yeah, blood about it. Yeah, boxing purists are never going to be happy with MMA, no matter what. Yeah. And I, for one, really respect the MMA culture because it's, it's, a, it's a new, fresh take on, on, on fighters and fighting and, and combat in general. It's, mm. it's, it's, it's a legacy. It's a new form. So the whole coming together of boxing and MMA is a great thing for the sport on the whole, but... If McGregor can find something or move a little bit different than, than Mayweather's seen in his previous fights, there's a bit of a chance. And if one punch comes through, it's going to go viral. May, uh, McGregor landing some sort of part it's of his really glove on the face. He's that's going to land yeah, at least yeah, one At least shot. one. At least one. I think he can get it. Um, because, I mean, he's a southpaw. He can change up. He can do a whole lot of things. And Mayweather is very... It's a, it's a strict rule set, boxing. There's, yeah. there's, no, there's no movement. Yeah, I mean, I expect McGregor to switch stances. I don't think he's going to stay southpaw. No, and this no. whole rubbish about uh, Mayweather not being able to handle sure, southpaws sure. is just, we're being sold this fight yeah, down yeah, the river. Yeah. I mean, he's got no problem with southpaws. He fought Pacquiao, one of the greatest southpaws yeah. ever, and it was, yeah. a, it was a crap fight, I've got to be honest with you. But <laughs> this thing about him not being able to do a southpaws yeah. for a guy who's 14, I know, like you said, mm. is absolutely rubbish. Going back to that thing about the MMA and the boxing uh, communities, do you think there's a certain bitterness with boxing fans of, of the perceived rise in MMA and the decline in the past 10 or 15 years in the post Don King era of the decline in boxing? Do you think that's part of the, of, of the, the bad blood I think, I think boxers uh, or, or boxing purists don't have much respect for MMA fighters. Yeah, yeah, we knew I was the A-side. That's why I say Mayweather first. We knew I was the A-side. That's why this <laughs> had to come to the boxing ring. Uh, the whole rolling on the floor <laughs> and all that stuff, they, they, they really don't like it. Yeah. And I think if you look past all of that and you look past what the differences are between the two sports, You've got to consider that these two fighters coming together are going to change everything from what we've seen in the past.
Yeah. It's 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 a it's a whole. I think Bruce Lee did a crossover. Uh, 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 um, Hulk Hogan did a crossover. Yeah, Ali did one. Ali, Ali did Ali one. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, James Tony again. <laughs> yeah. Couture is the most famous one. For where sure. James Tony, great box, went into the cage mm. and got completely dismantled uh, by Randy Couture, sure, one of the greatest sure. MMA fighters of all time. And that also begs the question. Then Mayweather did promise McGregor a rematch yeah, yeah. under mixed martial arts rules. Now, if we think this is a, re uh, a mismatch in the mm. boxing ring, God forbid what it would be like if McGregor <laughs> and Mayweather face off in the octagon. What do you think would happen there? There's going to be first degree murder charges, definitely. <laughs> 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 definitely, no, definitely, definitely. So what would happen, hypothetically, mm. to the future of boxing if McGregor gets that one punch through and puts Mayweather down the floor? People are going to start saying boxing is crumbling and it's going to add to that old theory. But if there's some sort of, I don't know, pathway that McGregor finds to the face to land a punch on, mm. on, on Mayweather's face, uh, it'll give the next generation, I think, th there'll be some sort of, okay, if I can do well enough at MMA, I can, I can challenge the boxing champion and I can, I can go on to bigger things. It's going to be a, an entirely different spectrum. It's yeah. going to change everything. MMA fighters are going to finally get respect that I think they, they've been wanting from boxing people, from boxing purists. And the, the, the boxing purists will have to accept that MMA is a, is a, is a legitimate art form. There's, yeah. there's, there's, there's definitely something that you need to learn and be, and be taught how to fight. Well, so I love, it's all, I love all amazing. combat sports. Yeah, yeah, and it's, and it's, you, it's amazing. You choose your flavor. Yeah. It's, it's, it's one of those things for me. Give your prediction then, Travis. I'm going to put you on the spot. Mayweather. Which when round? Sixth. Sixth if it round. Goes past, if it goes past six, then McGregor six is done enough. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people are saying it's not going for the fast first or second, but I kind of think that Mayweather's a businessman and he wants to string out You have to out draw it out. Yeah, sponsors, yeah, 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 yeah. You know. Will it be Mayweather's last fight? No. He says it will so. be, but he, he I don't think so. He does say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was watching the other day, he wants, to, he wants to develop a whole global... He wants to do big things. ...range yeah. of strip clubs around the entire <laughs> planet. He, is, he wants to be the biggest entrepreneur in strip yes, clubs. Yes, Why yes. you want to stick your money into that, I don't know, but do what you want with it. Mm. I, I think that he's addicted to money, and I think this no, is nowhere sure. near going to be his, it, yeah. his, his last fight. Mm. It's, 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 I don't think that Mayweather will ever lose that addiction of, of, of going into the ring and wanting to prove himself, because yeah. he's done it so many times. And I do think that if McGregor does enough, there would be a rematch. I mean, Mayweather did say that yeah. they, they, they would be in Octagon, but he's definitely not off the map from any form of fighting. Yeah. Not, not any so, time. So so. As a boxing fan, have you ever experienced anyone, the, the, the kind of global hype of people? I've, I've not had people every day ask me about this fight. I can't remember a time when it's been like this in this sport. Yeah, a lot of everybody's talking about it. It's not just boxing fans or sport fans. It's, mm. it's across the board. Everyone wants to watch this fight. They want to know what's happening. They want to know what these fighters are saying about each other. Yeah. They, are very, they are very attached to it and they want to be a part of it and it's they want to see what happens. It's good yeah. for the sport. It's amazing for both sports, yes. And as a boxing fan, let me put this to you then, Travis, at the end. If the Mayweather-McGregor fight is a simple burger with fries and tomato <laughs> yeah. ketchup and a milkshake, the Golovkin-Canelo fight is the fine sorbet to look forward <laughs> to, regardless of what happens at the weekend. Uh. That's a boxing fight. And it puts it into context. If this fight is as hyped and delivers mm. to mm. a certain amount, like you said, if it goes to the sixth round and people say, well, McGregor did a fair, a fair, a fair, a fair go of it, mm. and Mayweather fought a great fight, respect to them, respect to boxing, more people are going to tune in to the Golovkin Canelo fight next month, surely. Yeah, they're going to be wanting to get a bit, a bit more of, what's, of, of all this hype and, and, and all the action that's been put on, on fighting in general. Yeah. So if this, if this fight delivers, which I think it, it will for, for, for everybody ready to watch it, Canelo, of course, who would take, who would take the eye of that? I'll give you a prediction on that fight then. Ah, Go Canelo, on Canelo, really? Canelo. Really? I can disagree on that. We're going to do this next month and we'll <laughs> no, have another we'll, one for you there. I'll be, I'll be happy to. I'll be happy to, <laughs> Simon. Sure. Travis Richard, ENCA.com Sports Center. Thank you very much, mate. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, Simon.